Welcome back to episode five, guys. In your absence, I have become quite the equestrian. I've been spending time with my ponios. They've all got names now. It's wonderful. And I've named them after all the horses that I've known that resemble these ones. Does that make sense? Like, I used to ride a horse called Murdoch, and he looks a little bit like this. Sort of. Not really. But it's as close as I'm going to get. It's Minecraft. It's not real. Oh my god, was that blasphemy? Did I just blaspheme? Please don't extradite me from the community. So I was thinking, because I've got a couple too many, and a brand new neighbour, maybe I could gift him a couple of ponies. Like a welcome to the realm kind of thing. So I've decided on these two over here, Paddy and Tyke, are going to go to a brand new home, boys. Brand new home. So we're going to have a go at doing the whole ride and lead thing. But we're going to lead two and ride one. We're going to take Leo because he's at least my slowest. He's my steadiest. And I can imagine this being quite difficult. <laughs> Come on, boys. Out you come, so I can shut the gate. I will take this one off. And hop. No, no, don't do that. Get on you. Okay. Oh, no, I've lost one already, and I've not even started. Paddy, come here. Right. Let's away. <laughs> come on, boys. Let's go. a sign to say welcome. Welcome to Lottie Craft. Here is a gift. Okay. Be good, boys. Be good. Oh. Where's Leo gone? Oh no, where's he gone? Leo! Oh no, I've lost my horse. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't move that fast. He can't have really gone anywhere too far, right? <gasps> you. Where did you go? I was worried about you. Right, let's go home. Be good, boys. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> pondering an extension to my stables as to whether I build two or three more sort of in this spot behind me so it's more of a square or I have this whole space around the back here I flattened it all out but then didn't do anything with it but it's at the back so I don't know how well that will tie in anyway but that's all the cosmetic stuff what we're really going to get down to today is we're going to build a gold farm I didn't want it too close to my actual base, so it's a little bit of a way. I've been busy for a couple of days collecting all the resources that I'm going to need. Thankfully, because my anxiety is a bit of a mess, doing the same repetitive tasks over and over again, I find very relaxing. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, guys, ponies. I don't need any more, do I? But I can't leave them here. I have to take them home. Come here, pony ponies. Come here, pony ponies. Enjoy your new home. I really am going to need to expand now. So this is the spot for the gold farm. And I want a gold farm purely because I want a lot of powered rails for my automated farms. And it's got nothing, nothing to do with having an unlimited supply of golden carrots. So without further ado, let's hop to. <laughs>
gone bad for the few seconds it was on, has it? It needs optimizing 100%. There's a lot still I want to do with it, but I've run out of resources, so I've got as far as I can right now, and it, it can be a work in progress. Ideally, I want a way to be able to turn it on from down here. I want to extend this chest system so there's one more storage room, and two, there is an automatic way to transfer waste and things that I don't want. But this will do for now, right? Carrots. <laughs> Yoink. Carrots! Nuggets! Carrots! Look! Carrots! <laughs> <gasps> Baby! Ah! <Aww. laughs> Carrot! Carrot! Baby! Okay, I might have fibbed a little bit when I said that I, 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 I wanted it for other reasons and not just golden carrots. But how cute are the little ones? So it's quite possible that all we've done this episode is give some ponies to my new neighbour, build a very questionable gold farm that has the potential to kill me, and did, <laughs> and successfully breed some ponies. What it does mean is as of next week, I can start building my automated farms, which I'm really excited about. They're one of my favourite things to build, especially the potato farm, which includes a bubble column, and I really enjoy it. I can't wait to build it. So I'll see you guys then. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.